Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to go ahead and make a, I'll show you how to make a pattern on Canva. And I'm doing it for, um, to put on t-shirts and cell phone cases and things like that. You, on Redbubble, you could do it on Printify. I know my friend does um, wrapping paper on Printify. What you want to do is you need a pattern for sometimes when like if there was just a circle here, part of it would get cut off. It would look a little stupid, but sometimes you just need a pattern to be able to fill in. Look at those pillows with that pattern, and it's super, super easy to do. So you could come up, if you don't have a pattern template yet, you could come up, say, create a new design and make it like 5,000 by 5,000 right there, 5,000 by 5,000, but I already have one, and I want to show you how this works for me. So here's my template pattern master. This is a, a pattern I made last night, but we're going to go ahead and make a new pattern today. So I'm just going to duplicate this page, okay, and then I'm going to take away everything. I like to have it to be the top one. We're going to go ahead and upload some elements. So I made a whole bunch of stuff yesterday there we go in my Christmas ornament so we're going to do a Christmas ornament pattern and I think I'm going to start with this red and green one and then I need a couple of other little things to go in there so let's grab these let's just grab everything and we can upload all of these you don't need to have lots of things for a pattern here, let me show you some of my patterns while we're waiting. So some of them are just circles of my artwork. Some of them are where I put words around my artwork and then have a little icon that relates to it. So this is my artwork, my words, and then I just got um, a little flower from Creative Fabrica. I used a... Uh, moon and the bat from Canva. So you can, there's lots of places to get stuff to make your pattern. So let's go ahead and put this Christmas ball in. And functionally, what you're going to do, and you can tip it, you can make it straight. So I think I'm going to make it as straight as I can get it. It's hand drawn. And then you want to come over here. See how that line turned red? And then you want to try to find the middle. And it's just like a little grid. See the lines came up? So that's exactly in the middle. And then I just push Option on a Mac. You can do Control Copy. And then I like to make sure that these are lined up. Because if they're, see how it would say middle? You go to Position, Align Elements. If they're not lined up, when you upload your pattern, it's going to, um, it's not going to line up. This is a repeating pattern. So we're going to do the same thing up here at the top. We want to find, up. Oh, there's the middle. And then we have to find the line that says it's the middle. There it is. And once I find this line, there we go, there's the middle there. But we have to find that other line down here. Oh, it's way further down than I think it is. There it is. And then let's make sure these are lined up. Center. Nope. Yep. Good. And then we're going to put some other stuff in here. So I have some cute stuff. I have this. Oops. This one that I made. So let's kind of put that in there. We could also put another one of these right in the middle. And maybe this one I will tip a little bit, just to make it interesting. And we'll put this one here. And let's turn it around. And I have this red ball. I kind of want everything to be red and green so that when I make a description it's going to be cool. And then one more. I kind of want them to all be, let's make them all be pointed in. 
I try to be, uh, like, fun and festive, but I actually like all my stuff to be relatively lined up. Okay, and then we're going to say share, download. You need a transparent background. I don't want all the pages. I just want my current page, and we're going to download that. Those are mock-ups of a coffee mug I made. Okay, so here's our pattern. We're going to name this uh, Red Green Ornaments, okay? And then we can come here, and this could be Printify, this could be whatever, but... Add new work. Upload new work, it's in my downloads, and I'm actually doing my work this morning. So let's go to something fun, oh, and a pillow. So number one, that is a cute pillow. I'm gonna leave that just like that. That's a fun pattern for a pillow. But on a duvet cover, it's not gonna be big enough. So here's where you can take one of your smaller designs and make it big enough. And then what I like to do is really look at it and make sure that the pattern is all lined up perfectly and it is all lined up perfectly. Let's bring this down, apply changes. And then you'll see that cute little Christmas pattern is all over that duvet color cover. So hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.